Hi all, in this video, let's discuss about default function parameters, how they work, how they react when we pass undefined or other falsy values. So let's uh, take a function. So I'm taking a function called multiply. So I have taken two var variables here to catch the value and uh, just I'm uh, multiplying the two numbers and returning back the value. So let's check, uh, I'm writing a console and I'm calling this function with two parameters, phi comma two. We know what happens here. Uh, phi would be taken by A, two would be passed to B. So five into two will be getting 10 as an output, fine. Now, if I send one more parameter, like five, two, one. So what happens? Five will be passed to A, two will be passed to B, and one will, there, there is no parameter to catch this one. So one value would be ignored and uh, we'll be getting the value as 10. So return value would be 10. So now take not three parameters only, we'll be taking one parameter. Now what happens? So if you take only five, if you are passing only five, five is passed to A, here we'll write. So now in A, there will be five. And in B, we are not sending any value. So in B, there will be undefined. So here what happens? So five into undefined. We'll be getting not a number, nan. So we'll be getting this. So usually uh, if we get like this, it means like we are uh, doing an operation uh, which where there is no number and we are trying to multiply or do any manipulation, then only we'll get this not a number nan. So we have an alternate to overcome this. So we can write a line, checking whether the condition, I mean the value B, if that is undefined, if that is equal to undefined, I will send one. If not, I will send B, I mean the same value. So here what is happening, uh, I'm not sending any parameter. Five is going to A and to the, B, I'm not sending anything. So now in the B, we have undefined. So now I'm writing one statement, checking whether B value is undefined. Yes, B value is undefined. Then I'm sending one to B. If any value we are going to send, then that value would be going into B. For example, let's take the first scenario. In this case, I'm sending five comma two. Now five will be going to A and two will be going to B. Now in two here, you can uh, keep parentheses if you get confused. So here, here in B, now we have two. So two is not equal to undefined. So it is false, two is equal to undefined. We are trying to check two is equal to undefined. So this is false. So the B value two, two will be going to the B. So now five into two, we'll get 10. So that's the reason we'll be getting 10 here. So this is the line we can write to check whether the B value is undefined or we have any other parameter. So if we have n number of parameters, so what we are going to do, we can't write or check each and every parameter like this. So that's the reason we got default function parameters. So that's the reason we, we are uh, discussing here regarding the default function parameters. Let's check how they work. So here, I will be giving a value like one here, that's it. So this is a default value. So in case, if I send the parameter, if I'm not going to send a parameter, now in A, five will be going, and B, I'm not sending the second parameter. In that case, in B, one would be replaced. This is known as a fun default function parameter. Now uh, we are assigning a default value to B, and if there is no value sent to B, then we need, it will be taken one. So if there is another, any value is uh, going to take, like uh, in the first case, we are sending five comma two. Now in A would be receiving five, B would be receiving two, not one. So if B uh, two value would be overridden with, with the default value. So now in B we'll be getting two. So now let's uh, once check the result. So we have 10, 10, five. So in the first case, five into two, 10. In the next case, five into two, we'll be getting 10. Now we are sending only five. We are getting five, not, uh, we are not getting not a number. This is because five would be taken by A, 
and in the b value we are assigning the default value one so fine now uh, we'll give few more inputs and check we'll be passing few few more inputs like i will be sending now five comma undefined so now now also in b i'm trying to send an undefined value so now it will not override with undefined it will take b as one so let's check we'll be getting five it means it is not taken b is not received the undefined value it is taking one as a value and returning the multiplication so here also we'll be getting five and here also we'll be getting five so now we can state a statement uh, stating default parameter would be taken only if we are not sending no value i mean if you are not uh, sending a value or if we are sending undefined values so only in these two cases so if you are not sending any parameter then the default parameter would be applied if you are sending a parameter which consists of undefined then the default parameter would be applied that's it so only in these two cases only the default parameter would be taken so for the other falsy values like uh, we have other falsy values let's discuss them like uh, falsy values we have if i send empty string so empty string is also considered as a valid value so in b now empty string would be replaced so that's the reason now we'll check what what would be the output we, we are getting zero because we uh, b is not taken as one if b is taken as one we'll be getting five now empty string is also taken as a valid value so empty string so we have certain falsy values like uh, empty string is a falsy value null is a falsy value and false is also a falsy value so for all these cases there are considered as a uh, valid values so if i give null here and also if i give false value directly here those are taken as a valid values so that a uh, default value won't be applied so for all these five into empty string so we'll uh, we'll get an uh, zero and uh, for all these remaining things we'll be getting zero when five is multiplied with false uh, false is a, like a zero value and true is one so we'll be getting zero and when five is multiplied with empty string also we'll be getting zero so for all these false values the this is taken as a valid value and uh, default value is not taken the priority so in this statement is more important default value is taken only when we are sending no parameter and if you are sending a value with undefined so only in these two cases only the default parameter would be taken hope you understand the video thanks for watching please subscribe